So we're revisiting the coil winder here and at the suggestion of viewer in the last video I've attached a MIG welding tip 40 thousandths for those that are curious to a piece of TIG wire here to use as a guide and I've moved the tip right up next to the work and what I want to I've the wire I'm using is 28 gauge so that's about 12 and a half thou or so uh, diameter and uh, so what I want to do is I want to set a feed here on my machine that's coarser than that uh, so I've set my feed at what I believe to be uh, about 50 and a half thou per revolution which is the third to fastest feed there is um, on this machine uh, and so we're going to do a little test run real quick to make sure that the feed is in fact what I expect we're running in second back gear ought to be about 50 rpm or so That appears about right, but as you can tell by the location of the tip here, I want to run it in reverse so that I can feed across the top of the works. Let's try that again. As I expected. started here like I said this is 28 gauge magnet wire or enamel coated wire plenty of room I'll go ahead and feed a wrap around Okay. Give me a piece of electrical tape here. This is definitely a three handed job. If there ever was one. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up. going to feed across and then we're going to stop we're going to reverse direction and we're going to feed back and I should have a nice even layout of coil there we're going back and forth so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and engage the feed so that as soon as I engage the clutch it'll start moving and we're gonna feed over to about here stop and then reverse the direction and feedback. So let's see how it goes. Slow down a little bit. Here we go. 
together. angled the tip back down a little bit here. I think the surface roughness of that cut right there is not doing me any favors. All right, now we're gonna reverse. And go back to the drum. Stripper wire here might be helpful. But all in all, still better than my old manual method. pleased with that. I think a smoother finish here was fairly coarse cut when I cut the recess in the surface this pipe. I mean surface finish really isn't an issue. So I cut it fairly coarsely and I think that affected the lay down pretty adversely. Also I think it's obvious I need a I need a slightly stiffer piece of wire here so this doesn't dance around quite as bad. But all in all I'm pleased and uh, I think the MIG tip was a good idea and um you know satisfactory be safe in the shop i'll be back with you soon